Hey, it's the Empire. Jiu Boxing Empire. Box for Boxing. Now, nah, man, my boy, Big Bro, AB, about billions. You know, Big Bro to Javante Tank Davis, man, when they were coming up. A lot of people don't know that Adrian Broner and Javante Tank, 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 Tank Davis grew up together. And a lot of people thought that Adrian Broner came in Javante Tank Davis's life when he was already wealthy and that he thought he was cool. But no, no, that's not the case, man. Adrian Broner has always known uh, Javante Tank Davis even since they're coming up as amateurs so big bro man he was a uh, big bro ab he was interviewed by fight hype and he agent burner said man you know i think javante tank davis is gonna show something special for his leo santa cruz fight man he says um i think javante tank davis stops leo santa cruz now i'll link it in the description man really cool stuff man fight hype has been interviewing these fighters and yeah man ab weighed in on it he said, yeah, man, he thinks he's going to walk him down and he's going to just be too much for Leo Santa Cruz because while Leo Santa Cruz throws a lot of punches, that, op that opens him up, him up too. So, you know, the thing is, Leo Santa Cruz is a phenomenal fighter. Um, it's wild because I remember at one point, there's so many undefeated fighters uh, at the, the weight class Leo Santa Cruz is, you know, i.e. Uh, Carl Frampton, uh, Gary Russell Jr., uh, you know, uh, Rigandal, Lomachenko, and none of these fighters really fought each other, Abnamarez, until they started taking L's, but they, they, you know, they took L's the way they weren't supposed to, right? Leo Santa Cruz lost to, um, he lost to Carl Frampton, and Carl Frampton was coming from weight, right? He wasn't supposed to lose that fight. <laughs> Carl, Leo Santa Cruz was supposed to win that fight. That was supposed to be easy money for Leo Santa Cruz. But now that Javante Tank Davis is fighting him, you know, Leo Santa Cruz still only has one loss, and, um, this would be really the first time if Javante Tink Davis can win this fight that, you know, these fighters will start fighting each other. All the fighters who didn't fight each other, you know, at their apex, th this can be the beginning of everyone fighting everyone. And Javante Tink Davis, if he gets through uh, Leo Santa Cruz, you know, he would definitely fight other big names like a Abner Marles, a Carl Frampton, uh, a Gary Russell Jr., a Lomachenko etc 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 and you know that was never done <clears throat> at that at uh leo santa cruz's peak but yeah man this is a really big deal that adrian broner is picking javante tank davis because adrian broner believe it or not you know he's an incredible fighter extremely athletic and he knows talent when he sees talent you know um adrian broner doesn't really endorse fires coming up i don't see too much you know and for him to endorse someone like a Javante Tate Davis means a lot because Javante is a, a, a star on the horizon for sure. So we're going to see how this whole thing plays out, man. I really like Leo Santa Cruz. Um, <clears throat> the only problem with him is he doesn't hit hard enough. And his biggest strength might be his biggest weakness in his fight because he throws so many punches. It's just going to be easy for Javante to pick him apart because he's going to be so open. You know, uh, maybe Leo Santa Cruz boxes more this fight. I think that'd be a smart uh, play. But if he tries to bully Javante Tank Davis, I think that will end up for a short night and an easy night for Javante Tank Davis, you know? So we're going to see how this whole thing plays out. Maybe Leo Santa Cruz has a better chance than I give him um, because Javante did not look so good against the whole Yukiris Gamboa fight. Um, but I heard that, or actually I've seen, Javante Tank Davis has been training with Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, recently. And he, he was sparring 147 fighters recently as well. So, you know, the guy is extremely focused in his fight. He knows this is his big, biggest fight in his career. Gambo was supposed to be uh, a guy with no chin, so he probably didn't take him as seriously. So this fight right here, he knows this is gonna be a tough fight. You know, when you fight one of these Hispanic fighters, they, especially from Mexico, all, you know, all they do is come forward with full aggression. They, they're just trying to wear you down and stop you. You know, so Javante had to be ready for that. You, you couldn't be out of shape for this fight. So, you know, Javante, uh, Javante Tech Davis has his hands full with Leo Santa Cruz. The guy is a comfort fire, he throws a lot of punches. And I personally think that if, you know, Gamboa had the stamina of Leo Santa Cruz, you know, he would have had a good chance of winning. The, he, would have been, he would have been winning that fight up to round 12 of that uh, Gamboa fight. So let me know how you guys feel about it though. You know, I think that this is gonna be a tough fight for Gamboa. I mean, sorry for Javante Tate Davis. I think Leo Santa Cruz has a definitely a good chance. Um, will Javante Tate Davis come in shape? That's the real question. Let me know how you guys feel about it though. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobasic Empire. Peace.